There's something very magical about taking something like paper that you interact with every day and then making it into something that you don't expect. I really like uh, making things that kind of fool the eye, like you don't know what they're made out of or they defy expectation. There's a lot of people out there who are doing really interesting interesting things and pushing a lot uh, with their medium and exploring new things. I think a lot of people who are artists like need to make art and it's really important to figure out why you need to make art uh, for yourself. My thesis project was um, the three paper dresses, and each one was based on a fairy tale, because I'm really interested in, in myth and fairy tales and stories. And each one was also based on an emotional process, because I figured out um, that one of the things art does for me is um, sort of functions as a, a way to explore emotions. The first dress that I made for my thesis project was a dress that was specifically about anxiety. If I'm feeling very anxious, I'm probably not going to act anxious around people I don't know. This is like a thing that people do. You know, you sort of like hide whatever's going on. So when I did this dress, I designed something that was very rigid and um, sort of armored and upright on the front. And then the back, um, it has uh, an exposed spine that's cut into it and you can see in and there's birds, there's all these birds flying inside of it. What's in, what, what happens when you turn into a bird? You get smaller, you're, you lose your ability to speak, you lose your ability to act and to communicate. You're very fragile, uh, but usually when you get turned into a bird in a fairy tale, if you turn yourself into a bird, it gives you power. If somebody else turns you into a bird, you're trapped. That reflects a lot on how anxiety feels I honestly think that one of the best things about making art here is the community. My experience has been that there's a lot of people here who are really interested in um, creating a bigger and more um, nurturing art scene here. There's just like a lot of interest in, I think, traditions here and, and passing things down and making things by hand. Um, there's a lot of cool artists around. I think the community has been really good um, and helped me grow a lot. And it's also beautiful here, which helps. Locally, I'm like, I actually have had a lot of projects, like rolling projects have been going, which has been really awesome. Um, like I, I sell things at a, a little shop and I have done art shows locally. I was on the local NPR station, like in the newspaper a couple times. The next step for me is starting more to, um, to get my work out there into the wider world. Um, I have some contacts in Tulsa and I'm having a show there in June, uh, which is exciting because my next project is getting ready for that. And that will be more paperwork, so the big dresses will be there, the, the first three dresses, and then more stuff that I'm making as well. And learning how to effectively market myself and effectively get my work out there so that um, I can keep making things and uh, maybe not store them in my house all the time. Thank you.